Editing and mixing audio is usually one of the final steps in video production, but that should not diminish its importance in delivering a quality final product. In this example, the video and audio events are grouped together. This grouping happens automatically when you add a video file that has an audio track onto your timeline, or you can manually group the events together. Since these events are grouped, as you move the video event, the audio goes with it. To edit the audio separately, you need to ungroup the video and audio events. To do so, right-click the audio event and choose Group, Remove From in the context menu. You can now freely move the audio event independently from the video event. To group the video and audio events back together, hold the control key and click both events to select them. Right-click on either event and choose Group, Create New. Many video editing techniques you've learned so far also work with audio. Functions like trim, fade, and split work just as they do with a video event. Vegas Pro includes a wide selection of audio effects that range from utilities like EQ and compression to creative effects like pitch shift and modulation. Vegas Pro also supports VST plugins, so you can use third-party plugins from various developers. Let's add an EQ to the audio event. To access audio effects, click the Audio Events Effects button. In the Plugin Chooser window, click the Vega subfolder, select the Graphic EQ effect, and then choose Add. You can create a chain of up to 32 effects. Use the same technique to add more effects to the chain. For now, let's just add the EQ and click OK. The Audio Effects window opens and contains the parameter controls for the effect you just added. Most audio effects have a list of presets. Click the Preset drop-down menu and choose a preset from the list. Presets provide a great way to get started. You can edit the settings to customize them for your project. Once you've set the effect as you want it, close the audio effects window. To change the volume of all the audio on a track, click the track's volume slider. The pan slider moves the audio signal between the left and right channels. Double-click the pan slider to return it to the center. This double-click technique works for most controls in Vegas Pro. It's good practice to play through your entire project and note any places where you need to adjust the volume level. If you need to adjust the volume in a section of an audio track and then return it to the previous level, use volume automation. Right-click the audio track header and choose Insert Envelope Volume to add a volume envelope to the track. Right-click the envelope and choose Add Point to create a control point. Right-click the envelope again a few seconds later to make a second control point. In between these two points, add a third control point and drag it downward. This attenuates, or lowers, the volume at that point and raises it back up to normal at the last point. You can add as many points to the envelope as you need. All of your project's audio passes through the Master Output Bus. You can control the overall volume of the entire project to the master bus. Drag the master volume fader to adjust the audio level. The audio meters show you the peak level of your loudest audio. If the volume peaks above the 0.0 dB mark, this will create an ugly distortion called audio clipping. You want to avoid clipping, so lower the volume until it peaks somewhere between negative 3 and negative 6 dB. There's a lot more to learn regarding editing and mixing audio, but these techniques will get you started and enable you to deliver your final project with great audio.